Well, sometimes it may not be our responsibility to, to do things, but as neighbours and respecting one another, I think we've got a, a moral uh, need to get on well with our neighbours and, uh, and helping them out. You just don't know when sometimes you may have to put your hand up and, uh, and ask for, uh, uh, for help. Uh, but I think morally we should uh, listen to what our neighbours' needs are. It may not be our responsibility, but I think as a good neighbour, good community uh, member, we should uh, listen and assist where we can. A lot of people focus on what your responsibility and what your rights are, but it's very important to keep in mind that if you're dealing with your neighbour, then you're most likely going to have an ongoing relationship with them. So it's very important to try and diffuse the situation as much as possible. So even if you feel that it's, it's not your problem, um, this isn't my responsibility, it could be something very minimal on your part. It's still important to resolve those issues because you're going to go on being neighbours. So if one person has an issue and the other one's not responding to it, that's only going to get worse. Um, it's quite likely that your neighbour will keep coming back to you with the issue, will become more and more um, resentful, will become more and more frustrated that you're not dealing with the issue. So often it's better to shortcut it all and deal with it as soon as possible rather than letting it escalate um, where it becomes bigger than the original issue. It becomes more about the tension in your relationship with your neighbour. If your neighbour seems preoccupied with an issue, uh, whether it is a fencing issue or a uh, tree issue, then there might be some validity behind that. Keep in mind that you are neighbours and that there is an ongoing relationship there. So it might be to your benefit to at least um, play the part of the concerned neighbour to see what you can do. Mm -hmm.